Welcome to Daily IQ. Today, 18th April 2024. In this video, I will teach you 24 Current Affairs MCQ with explanation. For daily current affairs video, please subscribe my channel and bell the notification icon. Question number one. World Heritage Day is observed every year on. Answer is 18th of April, the International Day for Monuments and Sites, also known as World Heritage Day, is observed on April 18th. The day was first celebrated by United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, in 1983. The aim is to promote awareness about the cultural heritage and diversity on the planet. The official theme for World Heritage Day 2024 is Discover and Experience Diversity. There are 42 World Heritage Sites in India. Question number two. Which state is leading in the Centre's Green Credit Programme, GCP? Answer is Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh is leading in implementing the Green Credit Programme, GCP, of the Centre. The GCP has approved the plantation of trees in over 500 land parcels, covering 4,180 hectares across 10 states in the past two months. Madhya Pradesh reported the highest area of approved degraded forest land for plantation or greening exercises, followed by Telangana, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, and Assam. Question number three. What is the rank of Delhi Airport in the list of world's busiest airports? Answer is 10th Airports Council International, ACI. World has recently released the list of the world's busiest airports. Indira Gandhi International Airport, IGI Airport Delhi, is ranked 10th. Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport holds the top spot and is followed for the first time by Dubai International Airport, which overtook Dallas Fort Worth International Airport to take second place. In this ranking, London's Heathrow Airport is at fourth place and Tokyo's Haneda Airport is at fifth place. Question number four. By which year ISRO has decided to achieve debris-free space? Answer is 2030. Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. Chairman S. E. Somanath announced on 16th April 2024 that India aims to achieve debris-free space by 2030. ISRO Chairman S. E. Somanath made this announcement while addressing the 42nd Interagency Space Debris Coordination Committee IEDC, annual meeting in Bengaluru. ISRO Chairman S. Somanath is actually also the Secretary of the Department of Space. Question number five. Ahmad Abdullah Al Ahmad Al Saba has been appointed as the new Prime Minister of Answer is Kuwait. On 15th of April 2024, the Emir of Kuwait announced the appointment of Ahmad Abdullah Al Ahmad Al Sabah as the new Prime Minister, succeeding Sheikh Mohammed Sabah Al Salim Al Sabah, who resigned in April. Ahmad Al Abdullah Al Sabah, born 5 September 1952, is a Kuwaiti economist, politician, and a member of the ruling family Al Sabah. He served as the Minister of Oil between 2009 and 2011. Sabah worked at the Central Bank of Kuwait from 1978 to 1987. Question number six. Which country is first to come up with the meningitis vaccine? Answer is Nigeria. Nigeria has become the first country to administer the MEN5CV MEN5 conjugate vaccine recommended by WHO, which protects from five strains 
of meningococcal bacteria. This vaccine called MEN5 is used to prevent meningococcal disease caused by Neisseria meningitidis groups A, C, Y, W, and X in people aged 9 months to 85 years. Meningitis is an infection that causes inflammation of the membranes that surround the brain and spinal cord. Question number seven. Which is the first stadium in India to use hybrid pitch technology? Answer is Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association, HPCA, Stadium in Dharamshala. The Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association, HPCA Stadium in Dharamshala, has become the first BCCI accredited venue to install a state-of-the-art hybrid pitch. This new technology is set to transform the game as future international and IPL matches will be played on this innovative track. Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association, HPCA, stadium has a capacity of 23,000. Question number eight. Who has been named as a 2024 Young Global Leader by World Economic Forum? Answer is Adwaita Nair. The World Economic Forum has named Adwaita Nair, the co-founder of Nika and CEO of Nika Fashion, as a 2024 Young Global Leader. Adwaita Nair has worked for her mother, Falguni Nair's beauty business Nika, from its inception and took over its fashion arm. Nika of Fashion in 2018. Under the leadership of Adwaita Nair, Nika Fashion has grown significantly and reported a gross merchandise value of Rs 1,013 crore for the third quarter of the 2024 financial year. Question number nine. Legendary cricketer. Derek Underwood passed away. He belongs to. Answer is England. Derek Underwood, the great England spinner, died on 15th of April 2024 at the age of 78. Derek Underwood made his cricket debut in 1963 at the age of 17. In an international cricket career spanning over 15 years, Derek Underwood represented England in 86 tests and 26 ODIs. He was also known by his nickname, Deadly. He was one of the first 55 inductees into the International Cricket Council Hall of Fame in 2009. Question number 10. Who become first England woman to be honoured as Wisden's leading cricketer? Answer is Nat Siverbrunt. Nat Siverbrunt has become the first England woman to be honoured as Wisden's leading cricketer in the world. Joe Wisden has topped Nat Siverbrunt in its awards list. Siverbrunt has regained the top spot in women's cricket after a stellar form in 2023. Harry Brook and Mark Wood are also among the five cricketers of the year named by Wisdom. Question number 11. Who has become the first U.S. former president to face a criminal trial? Answer is Donald Trump. Former United States President Donald Trump has become the first U.S. president to face a criminal trial. Donald Trump appeared in a Manhattan court in the U.S. to face charges of paying hush money to a porn star. Donald Trump served as the 45th president of the United States from January 20, 2017 to January 20, 2021. Question number 12. Who has recently broken the 38-year-old world record in discus throw? Answer is Mikolas Alekna. Mikolas Alekna of Lithuania broke the longest standing men's world record in the discus throw event. He threw the discus to 74.35 meters at the Oklahoma Throw Series meeting in Ramona, United States of America on 14th April. 2024. Mikolas Alekna broke the 38-year-old record of 74.08 meters 
set by Jürgen Schult of East Germany on June 6, 1986. Question number 13. Where was the International Humanitarian Conference for Sudan and neighboring countries held in April 2024? Answer is Paris. An International Humanitarian Conference for Sudan and neighboring countries was held in the French capital Paris on 15 April 2024 to raise funds for the people of Sudan who have been caught in a war between Sudan's army and the rebel paramilitary force Rapid Support Forces. At the Paris conference, the international donors announced they would provide more than 2 billion euros, including around 900 million euros, provided by the European Union and its members. Question number 14. Who has won the 2024 Monte Carlo ATP Masters 1000 singles title? Answer is Stefanos Tsitsipas. 25-year-old tennis player Stefanos Tsitsipas of Greece defeated Kaspar Ruud of Norway in a straight set 6-1, 6-4 to win his third ATP Monte Carlo Masters 1000 title. He also won the title in 2021 and 2022. Stefanos Tsitsipas defeated Alexander Zverev in the quarter-final and World No. 2 Yannick Sinner in the semi-finals. The Belgian pair of Sander Giller and Joran Vliegen won the men's doubles title. Question number 15. India's first locally made electric mining truck SKT-105E was launched by Answer is Saini India, Saini Heavy Industry, India Private Limited, Saini India, a construction and mining equipment manufacturer, launched the SKT-105E, India's first locally manufactured fully electric open-cast mining truck. With a payload capacity of 70 ton, it stands as a powerhouse asset for mining enterprises, delivering energy efficiency and cost effectiveness. Question number 16. Impatiens neo uncinata, a new species of balsam, was discovered in. Answer is Kerala. Researchers discovered a new species of genus Impatiens, family Balsaminaceae, named Impatiens neo uncinata during a floristic survey in the Agasthyamala Biosphere Reserve in Thiruvananthapuram district, Kerala. The paper on the discovery of the new species was published in the scientific journal Phytotaxa. The new species was distinguished by the snowy white flowers with red stripes and comparatively large flowers. Question number 17. Padma Shri awardee K.G. Jayan died. He was famous in which field? Answer is Carnatic Music. Padma Shri awardee K.G. Jayan, a renowned Carnatic musician from Kerala, passed away at the age of 89 in Ernakulam district, Kerala. He was born on 21st of November 1934 in Kerala. He was the father of famous Malayalam actor Manoj K. Jayan. K.G. Jayan composed more than 1,000 songs and composed music for Tamil and Malayalam films. He was also honoured with Padma Shri in 2019 in the field of art. Question number 18. What is the GDP growth projection of India by the IMF for FY 2024-25? Answer is 6.8%. The International Monetary Fund IMF has revised India's gross domestic product GDP growth projection to 6.8% for the financial year FY 2024-25, which is an increase of 30 basis points from its January forecast of 6.5%. In addition, the report projected global growth to continue at the same pace of 3.2% in FY 2024-25 and FY 2025-26. Question number 19. Who has been appointed as the Secretary of the Department of Posts? 
Answer is Vandita Cowell. Senior Bureaucrat Vandita Cowell has been appointed as the Secretary of the Department of Posts. She will succeed Vineet Pandey upon his superannuation. Cowell, a 1989 batch Indian Postal Service officer, currently serves as member, banking and direct benefit transfer of the Postal Services Board. Question number 20. Who has been appointed as the Brand Ambassador of Space India? Answer is Sanjana Sanghi. Sanjana Sanghi has been appointed as Brand Ambassador of Space India. Sanjana Sanghi is a rising young Bollywood star and UNDP youth champion. Space India is the registered space tutor of ISRO, creating impact through its education and outreach programs for schools. Founded in 2001, Space India has inspired over 1.5 million students. Question number 21. Who has smashed the fourth fastest hundred in the IPL history? Answer is Travis Head. Sunrisers Hyderabad opener. Travis Head smashed the fourth fastest hundred of the IPL as he raced to three-figure mark in only 39 balls in a match against RCB at the Chinnaswamy Stadium. Chris Gale has the record of scoring the fastest century in IPL in 30 balls against Pune Warriors in 2013. Yusuf Pathan is the second fastest to slam 100 in 37 balls against Mumbai Indians in 2010, while David Miller achieved the feat in 38 balls against RCB in 2013. Question number 22. Who has been appointed by Bharat P as its whole-time chief executive officer? Answer is Nalin Negi. Fintech firm Bharat P has promoted its interim CEO and chief financial officer Nalin Negi as full-time chief executive officer. Negi was given the charge of interim CEO after the then CEO Suhail Samir stepped down in January 2023. Negi joined Bharat P in 2022 with over 28 years of experience. Question number 23. Actor Ram Charan was honoured with an honorary doctorate in literature from Man. Answer is Vells University. The renowned global star Ram Charan recently received an honorary Doctor of Literature degree from Vells University Chennai during its 14th annual convocation. He was honoured as the chief guest at the prestigious event, joining a distinguished list of luminaries previously recognized by the university. Notably, Ram Charan becomes the youngest recipient of an honorary doctorate from Vells University. Question number 24. Which team broke its own record of the highest team score in IPL history? Answer is Sunrisers Hyderabad. Sunrisers Hyderabad on 15th of April broke their record of scoring the highest runs in the Indian Premier League, IPL, as they hammered 287 runs in 20 overs while playing against Royal Challengers Bangalore at M. Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bengaluru. The Sunrisers breached their previous record of scoring 277 runs against Mumbai Indians in the current IPL tournament. Until now, the highest ever T20 score was hit by Nepal 3-14-3 against Mongolia Hangzhou in 2023. Thanks for watching full video. You can join as a member for daily, weekly and monthly current affairs PDFs. Please contact me on WhatsApp 9700200378.